Next, so it's my, it's my hope that our presentation today can give you the same inspiration and uh, probably some practical tips that you can take back to your company and your organization can take the online analytics and testing program from good to great. Uh, so today, the next slide. Oh, sorry, I have to switch the slide by myself, I guess. So uh, Carol, Dave, and I will share the transformation journey still happening at Dell. I will first share what's the strategic vision we have on online analytics and testing, and what's the key decision we have made this year so far. And Carol is going to share one very, very important uh, uh, topic in our industry, which is how we can build a solid business process and make a testing program part of our uh, online business. And Dave is going to share with you our, uh, a lot of valuable lessons we have learned from hundreds of testing we have done in past years. And then I'll come back to wrap it up with some um, exciting announcement as well. So let me get started with Dell Online today. I think most of you are probably familiar with Dell.com here in the United States. And part of the reason is because we have a huge presence here in our consumer and small business market, right? So the Black Friday, the Cyber Monday, and the Christmas holiday are coming up. And make sure you check out Dell.com, and maybe you will be able to find out some smoking deal you won't be able to find out any, anywhere else. You may not know, though, that Dell.com is actually, uh, we have huge presence globally. The so same Dell.com is available to 34 different languages and over 50 different countries globally. So that's point number one I want to highlight in this slide. When we talk about online analytics and testing, it's really important to have a global perspective. So anything, anything we want to do in the United States, we have to take it uh, everywhere globally, right? The second point I want to make here is when we talk about Dell.com, it's not really just about the B2C. It's about the B2B. It's about the you know, um, premier page for our um, corporate and public customers. Uh, it's about the ESO part. It's about the community forum, like Idea Storm we have. Uh, it's about the social media. It's about the mobile strategy. So it's a whole spectrum, whole family of uh, um, you know, digital channels we are looking at. So of course, as you can imagine, uh, for a company like Dell, online analytics and testing has always been very important for us, right? So our journey actually started more than a decade ago. And when I look back at our history, I can see three distinct phases in our history. The first phase is what I call early adoption. That is from 1996 to 2007. We uh, had our own in-house clickstream application based on server lock, right? We, are, we had our own in-house testing capability as well. And that was part of the period that was uh, when Sam Decker, you know, the CMO, uh, CMO from uh, Bazaar Voice, who worked at Dell, and Brian Eisenberg actually worked with him, and uh, they did a very famous test, you know, help me choose versus learn more. So if you have listened to Brian's presentation, he always used that as a good example, right? So not bad, you know, we started pretty early, we had our own testing going on. But uh, the real change came from um, between 2008 and 2009. So that's the period of time we put a lot of investment into online analytics and testing program. We got rid of our uh, legacy clickstream uh, application. Because you know, the whole system we had you know, in the first uh, 10 years or so is a very uh, kind of regional and segment basis. So we didn't have a global approach to online analytics and testing. So when one country manager talk about, you know, hey, this is how many visits I have, how many visitors I have, the meaning of that could be very, very different from another country manager just sitting right next to him, right? So the quality of the data is a challenge we got to fix, and that is what we did in 2008 to 2009. And we had a global implementation of our web analytic tools, and we also adopted the industry leading testing capability. We work with our vendors and consultants to ramp up our testing capability. So we did a lot in those two years, right? So if the focus of the uh, first phase is around data, just simply, hey, give me the data, give me the metrics so I can look at my business, the focus of the second phase is more around the quality of data. 
So now, you know, for the first time in our company's history, we actually have a single source of truth. When people talk about visits or conversion, we actually have the same definition. So I know exactly what you talk about. So the third phase is starting from this year, which I call maturity, which I will talk more in detail in the later slides, and Carol and Dave will talk more as well. So that is the um, period I start to see Dell you know, become more mature in the online analytics and testing uh, space. Like I said, if the focus in the first phase is around data, the focus on the second phase is around quality of data, and the focus on the third phase, from my perspective, is about value, right? So how we can get more value out of the investment we have made on the technology? How we can get more value back to our business? So that's really the focus of the surface. So when I look back at our history, you know, I feel pretty good about our program. We had a really uh, good talented people at Dell. We had uh, probably one of the best uh, um, back office support. We had a huge you know, team in India there. And we had great technology. You know, the, whole e uh, the whole Dell.com has the same uh, e-commerce platform globally. So we can implement our web analytics solution you know, in a very standardized fashion globally. And the whole company is very committed to testing. So the head of testing, I never heard anybody come to question us why we have to do testing. I always hear people you know, come to ask us, hey, how can I get more value out of testing? And uh, our partners around us come to uh, tell us, hey, how can I do you know, to help you to become more success successful in testing? So I feel pretty good about our program. But just as uh, Jim Collins said, you know, good is always enemy of great, right? And being good is never good enough for Dale. So we had to make, make some changes. And for the first time in Dale's history, I would see, you know, we actually have a clearly defined and articulated vision for Dale.com. We want to become the technology e-commerce leader. We want to offer the most relevant, personalized, shopping experience, social experience, and the solution experience to our customers, you know, from you know, small size to large size customers. And as a result, we want to improve customer satisfaction, we want to drive high customer loyalty. Right? So Dell.com has been defined as one of the top three corporate strategy pillars, and personally led by Michael Dell. So early this year, he handpicked a senior executive, CTO uh, from Preston.com, his name is Ron Rose, come to Dell and personally lead the transformation of Dell.com. So, so far this year, we have uh, invested hundreds of million dollars to revamp the infrastructure of Dell.com. We have uh, implemented the uh, behavior targeting product recommendation engine across our you know, many countries across the world. And we have started to integrate the social into our e-commerce shopping experience. And we also pilot probably one of the uh, first uh, collaboration tool in the industry, which we call Screen Share. So now, if your grandma needs your help to customize a, a computer on Dell.com, she can simply launch that uh, feature. Now she can see exactly what you're doing on Dell.com. So to me, you know, I have been working at Dell for uh, six years. And right now, I think it's the best time to work at Dell. And it's even, even more exciting to work on Dell.com team. But most exciting of all is uh, the web analytics professional is to see that how our program and our team has been seen by the company, by the management, as one of the most strategic and foundational driver to Dell.com transformation. Right? So we, as a team, are challenged to become an innovation engine. We are asked to provide the insightful analytics and the best in case best-in-class testing capability so that we can help bring all this new technology, the new uh, program capability onto Dell.com can help measure the ROI of the investment we have made and to uh, keep optimizing all those programs. So this is what uh, keeps me uh, most exciting. This is what uh, keeps me up at night. And that's uh, what you know, make me and many of my colleagues here you know, working so hard, even we probably get paid later than you guys. Just kidding. <laughs> um, so with a clear defined vision, 
it's uh, really good, right? But vision alone is not going to get us anywhere. So we have to make some um, good business decisions. And the first decision we made is about people. And we made a decision this year, we need more people. We already had a really good technology. Now we need more people, right? So we double the size of the team. You know, as a uh, practitioner in the industry, you may have heard you know, Avinash talk about the you know, 1090 uh, investment rule between technology and people. And Eric Peterson, of course, he doesn't agree. So he said 50-50. And regardless of which school you believe, you know, we simply didn't have enough, right? So we had good quality people, but we didn't have enough. So um, we made decision double the size of a team. And I'm very you know, proud uh, to tell you uh, one fact of truth is uh, this year, uh, only within two months, we were able to hire 10 talents into our team. With, you know, uh, when some, of, some of them you know, actually in this room. So as a practitioner in this industry, you can understand how difficult to hire 10 talents into one company within two months. So, um, and we, you know, we had to make some uh, decisions. Like some of the people, really good. They don't want to leave their home. They don't want to come to work for us in Austin. So that's okay. You can work at your home in California or in Miami, right? So we have to make it work for them. The other thing we did is we found out it's really um, important you know, to help them to get on board. So we developed a specific um, onboarding process for our team members. And we assign a mentor for each one of them. We ask our managers to have one-to-one -one, you know, meetings and uh, lunches, et cetera, to, um, you know, to understand more from them. And we have our PMO, Carol, personally reach out to each one of them on the monthly basis to get their feedback. So based on their feedback, our management team is able to take some action to help them to get on board and uh, ramp up uh, as fast as they can. The other thing we are doing is we um, uh, continue to develop an ongoing training and development plan. There we uh, sign up for WA corporate members this year as part of the plan. We send our people to eMetrics as part of the plan. And we ask our people to go to take WA certification exam. It's part of the plan. And we're going to do more and more you know, in the uh, next couple of years as well. So that's the first decision we made. The, se the second decision we made is about p team. right? So now we got a lot of good people into the team. How are you going to structure them? We used to structure our team based on segment and uh, region. So that structure had its own advantage. It gave us a close relationship with our regional key stakeholders. But uh, it has the disadvantage. It simply couldn't give us the skill and the speed we need to become more successful globally. So this year, we made a second decision is we're going to structure the team differently. We're going to be more functional focused, and we're going to build a truly global um, team. So uh, this is the current structure we have. We have four teams. Uh, globally. The first team is global analytics, which is a focus on analyzing customer behavior on the site as well as generating you know, testing ideas. The second team is the team I'm personally uh, leading. It's the um, team to responsible for all testing execution from the beginning to the end. And the third team is a new team which we built is what we call Edel program team. It's help bring all those new programs to Dell.com, measure the impact, and opti optimize them. The fourth team is uh, uh, our back office support. It's a reporting and uh, ad hoc analytics team we have in India. And uh, last but not the least is our PMO office. It's Carol. You know, she worked with all of us to build a global process. The third decision we made is uh, we decided to hold ourselves accountable. So early this year, we made a business case. And we told our management, this is how much investment we need, and this is how much money we're going to give back to the business, right? So, of course, the ROI looks pretty good, right? Um, if we execute our program very well, by the end of this year, we will be able to complete about 400 to 600 tests globally. And uh, we'll be able to contribute 2x revenue back to, the, uh, 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 back to the business. I can't tell you the exact number, but the number is probably bigger than a lot of companies' revenue. Um, the other thing we found is, uh, you know, in this whole process, by holding us accountable, I have to step out of my comfort zone. I have to go to talk to finance people. I have to have a bi-weekly meeting 
with the finance people, best friend we have right now, and the management team to review our progress, how many tests we have done, and how much revenue we think we can generate uh, back to the business. But the more question I got, I found you know, the better we become, and we become more conservative and realistic in our monetization model, and we also become more transparent to our business. So just like Jim Collins said, you know, if you have the accountability, then you can achieve credibility in our business. So those are three decisions we made. Now I'm going to ask Carol to come over to talk about the fourth decision, which is how we can build a, a solid business process you know, around the global testing. Carol.